I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part too. <laughs> Want to feel old, soldier? A quarter of a century ago, the Starship Troopers film released. I remember it being pretty epic and memes of it live on to this day. It had a budget of a hundred million dollars. The sequel, which we'll not talk about, had a seven million dollar budget. But this was my introduction to the Starship Troopers universe and it helped me understand the sci-fi genre because I was starting to see parallels between different IPs. For example, with a Zerg, bugs? In the late 90s, I also watched all of Roughnecks, Starship Troopers Chronicles, which was a 3D animated TV series that I loved. Maybe because I grew up on 3D series like these? Reboot! Beast Wars! But I recall this series being great with actual emotional beats and interesting character development. At the turn of the millennium, Starship Troopers Terran Ascendancy was a tactical squad-based game that I played, at least somewhat, and it was good. But I wasn't, so I didn't get very far. I remember it pretty clearly though, and when I saw the announcement of this new Starship Troopers Terran Command, I was struck with nostalgia for this universe that I haven't touched in over two decades. I was asking myself two questions. One, is this a reboot, remake, or a cheap cash grab? And two, does anyone even still care about Starship Troopers? Today, we sign up to squash some bugs, but an inspection will be happening to see if it's the right kind of bugs. Terrans of the world, welcome to Starship Troopers. Terran Command, and this is a, a preview key was sent to me for, to check out this game, which is sort of a remake of a game that I played way back in the day called Star Tri Starship Troopers Terran Ascendancy, I think it was, which is an RTS squad-based tactical thing set in the Starship Troopers universe. And personally, I'm not a mega fan of, of the IP, but I did watch that 3D animated series uh, back in the late 90s, early 2000s. I just, just so you know, I did actually watch that Xander Becomes Infected. See, I did watch it. Remember the robot? That's, that was sad. The robot soldier? That was a sad episode. Mm. <laughs> Those of you who know, you know. Anyway, this is my first look at this game and uh, gameplay wise it's seeming okay but there's some menu UI stuff that's making me feel a little bit eh, suspicious so far. So for example just opening up the options menu on the graphic settings currently it's set to good whatever that means who knows what that means but higher seems to be lagging things out a little bit maybe because I'm streaming and recording at the same time but it gets a little laggy, particularly on panning around the camera. Screen resolution, it's... Well, they could separate the, the refresh rate onto a separate thing and half this list, but okay, sure. Uh, control schemes, this is re rebindable. And I've rebinded a few things and it's it's okay. Uh, preferences, I mean, just, just this... The UI design of this menu is very uncomfortable, right? Audio sliders, like, I don't know, it's, it's very uncomfortable to interact with this options menu. But okay, fine. Um, let's go to new campaign, play a full campaign, and today we can check out quite a lot of the game. Um, so let's see. Qualasha. Discover the career for you and opportunities you never knew existed. Campaign difficulty. Oh, you get to choose. Let's leave it on medium. Division name, 6th Inf Infantry Division. Oh, we can call ourselves. We are the Zachalites. That's the division name. Uh, enlist now. The Battle of Klandathu. A day that will live in infamy. 
but from tragedy springs hope as the Federation rebuilds its fleet bigger and stronger than before. To fuel this war machine, all eyes are now on Quilasha. Once an isolated outpost, this mineral-rich world has become a key part of humanity's battle for survival. But the planet's vital mining industry may now be in danger after reports of bugs on the surface. And so the mobile infantry answers humanity's call. These brave men and women will defend Quilasha from any insect aggression. Okay. <laughs> so you see what I mean by it's okay, but things are a little bit rough. Okay, that's it's fine, it's fine. Let's go to war, the button says. I'm doing my part. <laughs> uh-huh. If any game has is excused for being buggy, I guess it's this one. <laughs> this game is full of bugs. Let's hope it's the right ones. Click to join the battle. Listen up, Lieutenant. The advance team kicked an anthill. Now they got more bugs than they know what to do with. We're here to save their asses. Let's do this by the book. Don't be a hero, and you won't need a body bag. You understand me? Let's go. On the bounce. Now, I'm not part of, and I don't know much about the US military, but do they say on the bounce? <laughs> is that something that is said? Okay, so again, UI, not so much issues, but things that make me feel a little uncomfortable. Zooming in and out is that little snappy kind. It's not smooth, so that's kind of weird. Also scrolling around, this gets laggier and choppier if you push the graphics up. So this is on basically medium graphics, and it's still a little choppy, right? So there's some optimization issues, I think. Uh, we do have grenades to throw, so there's abilities. Uh, there is friendly fire with grenades. I just want to see, can I blow you up? <laughs> yeah, you deserved it. You know what you did. <laughs> friendly fire being on is good and accurate, correct. So let's let's move on. We got we we this is mission one. Uh, I think grenades are just on a cooldown ability. Uh, there, sorry, there's buttons behind me here. I gotta block something. Chariot bugs, small, but there's no such thing as a harmless bug. Splat them and keep moving. Okay, so what's the attack move? Yeah, so we're just attack moving up through here. So one thing that I do know that is cool about this game is that terrain elevation does matter. So for example. This unit of soldiers cannot just shoot through your friendly, like friendlies like that. They have to either be on a higher ground or lower ground. And um, th that's actually cool because you know me, I love high ground, low ground stuff. The team located the bug hole. Hope they say something for us to shoot. So, like, if I stand Take here. position on the left flank to get clear lines of fire. Yeah, clear lines of fire. So, if I stand here. Allied units block line of fire. And that's actually kind of cool. We can't shoot through our own troops. Not without following a lot of paperwork after. So that, that sort of thing is cool. I, I'm, I'm just a big fan, tactically, of high ground, low ground stuff, right? It's, it's just send them out. Let's move forward. I think it adds a lot of dynamic stuff, and it's why I dislike naval warfare, whether it's space or on water, because without the terrain elevations and the terrain dynamics, I I find it very boring. <laughs> so that that's actually good, you know, friendly fire, uh, units blocking. But yeah, performance Tech seems to be an issue. Coming. Stand back and enjoy the fireworks. They don't like to get their uniforms dirty, but those flyboys are pretty useful sometimes. Damn, a few bugs got away. Get after them before they reach the settlement. 
Pursue the arachnids. Are there control groups? Are there separate control groups? One, two. You cannot mix control groups. Every RTS needs that. Please fix that. <laughs> Basically, what kind of half-ass containment operation is this? <laughs> Basically, units should be able to belong to multiple control groups. Please, please. There's no reason why that can't be a thing, right? If I set this, like, if I select both, control group one, that works. If I select one, control group two, it splits them. Control group one is now no longer both. Right? You, you gotta... You gotta be able to, to mix and match your control groups. Either these civilians ignored the evac order, or someone's getting a weapon back at base for missing these stragglers. Ammunition cache. Sir, Major Cortez reporting. Orders from command require you to confiscate all civilian weapons. This way. That's a copy. Good to hear your voice. Squad, secure those weapon stashes. Not that these guys will be using them. All right, weapon stashes, sure. Collecting objects from the map, makes sense. Which way are we going? Sounds Follow like the road into town. In okay. Trouble. Let's lend them a hand. All right. Mission one being tutorialized. That's fine. Secondary objective: confiscate ammo stashes. Okay. Can we see them without scouting? I'm unsure. Move here for clear line of fire. Right. Cannot fire through friendly units. That makes sense. Yes. Do grenades affect these vehicles? No. Okay. There's What's a radio the tower truck ahead of doing your there. <laughs> it should be able to cut through the interference and get you some reinforcements. Copy that. Okay, so here's where the mixing and matching of control groups would be handy. So I would like everything to be on one, but then I'd like these guys to be on two, but then I can't do that. Can I shift two? So you can shift number. So you can do like one shift two to select everything, but that sort of defeats the purpose. All right. Radio stations just ahead. Move into range and get fleet on the horn. Finally, we can break through this goddamn interference. Uh, grenade right there, please. Yep, yeah, that's good. Capture the radio station, we can do that. Are there formations on this? Because right now everyone's sort of spread out onto a line. These apes have taken a licking. Use the radio station to call up fleet and get replacements for our casualties. Voice acting is okay so far. I wish it was slightly more into it, but also, I don't know, maybe that's sort of a d direction choice. Because Starship Troopers is kind of a bit of a cheesy, like the, the voice of like command in Starship Troopers is sort of a bit disingenuous, right? It's kind of a thing, so maybe it's a choice. Uh, reinforce all depleted rifle trooper squads. Pursue and destroy all arachnids. Um, select rifle troopers, call for reinforcements. These guys. Request reinforcements, like this. So that replenishes the squad, so it works like um, Company of Heroes. Right? Sir, command has radioed out an alert. Major bug movement to your east. Okay. Things are about to get interesting. Look sharp, people. Form a perimeter. Attack incoming in 30 seconds. 
Okay. Flame guys at the front. Look sharp, troopers. Yes, sir. Sir, with me. Look alive, troopers. Yes, sir. So we can't like shoot Come through on. friendlies. Roger that. Listen we just want to huddle close into a line like this. So Here engineers, yeah, Watch engineers the fire. are the ones with Standing fire. Oh, that was a different... Engineers have a different kind of fire grenade thing. Oh, I see. So we can do this. Okay, the abilities are pretty tactical. Setting a burning ground spot like that against the bugs. Yeah, okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. Outstanding. This area is hotter than we thought. New order, sir. Is that sir. a pun? <laughs> Bug activity is too strong. <laughs> Command is recalling you to Delta Four Base. Leave the civvies and get yourself home. Hmm, that route won't be pretty. Rough terrain, lots of hidey holes for bugs. But you gotta punch through. I'm sure we'll be fine. Everyone keeps saying that every time he says bug, it sounds like butt. <laughs> Major butt movement in your area. <laughs> Lots of hidey holes for butts. <laughs> so there's those two ammo stashes. I guess we'll... Oh, they're coming for us. Yes, sir. Fire is pretty effective against bugs, huh? Sort of has a stun on them. Affirmative. Come oh, you kind of hate it when corpses despawn so quickly. You don't understand why. It's a performance thing. Um, you know, a lot of bodies staying around on the ground. It takes up more resources, and this game is already having some performance issues, so... Uh, <laughs> uh, let's grab you. Yeah, we go grab that. Okay, go grab that. We can grab these ammunition caches. Oh, you you do understand why. Let okay, that be sorry. a lesson. These colonists had guns, but they didn't have training or discipline. That's why we're alive, and they're not. Okay. Roger that. Fall back to Outpost Delta 4. One good thing is pathfinding isn't really an issue. And when you give a command, it does show the path they're going to take. So there's no surprises with the pathfinding. So that there's, there's, like, some good decisions here. Delta 4. Now haul ass and get behind those walls. No StarCraft 1 path in good. No, no, it's better than StarCraft 1. Bugs are going for the base. Standard procedure is to keep the gate shut until there are zero hostiles in the area. Oh, hell. <laughs> Guess you're doing this in the open. At least there'll be a target-rich environment. Target rich environment. So if I put you on the ramp, you might be able to shoot over it. Yes, okay, that's good. So, like, putting them on the ramp there allowed them to shoot over our friendlies. Am I supposed to be helping? You guys won't let me in, so... <laughs> it says I have to survive, that not you open. guys. Open up, you rookies. <laughs> I 
Yeah, this is level one tutorial. That, that we're not super judging how difficult or complex things are. We're not done yet. Get on those walls and get ready. Yes, sir. Affirmative. We can do that. Look alive, troopers. We can do that. All right, you apes. Show those bugs what you're made of. Yes, sir. I don't know if we can. They didn't give us much time to get there. A unit has been promoted, sir. That's good. Let's drop some fire. Oh no! <laughs> we couldn't just drop some fire down there. <laughs> just... <laughs> well done, troopers. Angles man. Eddie Rooney, okay. head to the medic. Everyone else, go find yourself a drink. Okay. There's something about this victory thing that... Yeah, I, th I think the biggest issue I'm having with this game so far is the UI. It feels... like a draft UI. Like, it, it feels like it's placeholder UI. Right? You, you know what I mean? Like, it's not... The gameplay so far is actually working out okay. But the UI is sort of cheapening the experience. But the game is okay. The game is okay. Continue. <clears throat> Do I like the game? I like the game so far. With the size of the mug problem now clear, immediate action is needed. The mobile infantry moves into gear to protect Quilasha its minds and its people. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm not too concerned about the voice acting because the voice acting sort of has if you if you watch the films, right? It sort of has um that sort of disingenuous tone to it. So I, I'm not I'm not against the voice acting so far because you know, they're just meat for the grinder, who cares? Go die, you know? <laughs> So let's go to war. Let's see what mission two is like. Let's 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 see more. Let's see more. You find it very close to the movie's vibes. Yeah, I mean, even that first mission is sort of like the opening scene of the first movie, right? It starts in a base and they're being swarmed, right? That that's the first scene, if I recall correctly. It's been a few years, maybe more than a few. Command has identified numerous bug holes in the area, and guess whose job it is to clean them out. Get your squads over to the supply base ASAP, and we'll go from there. Move out. Reach the supply base. So we just have some normal infantry. That's fine. We're walking down Survivors, this way. Take down those bugs. I, I'm assuming mission two will still be a little bit tutorialized because, you know, it's mission two. <laughs> People can't unhear but <laughs> clean out those buttholes. <laughs> he is saying but radio He's station up ahead. We should be able to cut through this interference and get some reinforcements. Okay. Radio okay. station. Call HQ and get another squad dropped on this position. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Your objective, deploy three rifle trooper squads. Okay. How does that work? Rifle troopers. We don't have enough supply capacity, sir. Oh, okay. That's how this works. Okay, okay. Bugs inbound. Find a firing position, people. Use the high ground. Look sharp, troopers. This way. Don't try it. Bugakin. I have the high ground. So this, this is what I like. This is what I really like. High ground. I like high ground. Right, we can now shoot over allied units because we have the high ground. 
Sensors are picking up new bug hive activity. We can keep killing them, but they'll keep coming until we seal those bug holes. The first bug cave is nearby. Get over there and take it out. You guys have ruined the script. It's your fault. You did this. Uh. All right, let, let's go find the bug holes. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, you can't see up high ground as well? Okay, I like that. Use room for some surprises. Um, so there's one right here. Maybe a bit preemptive, but okay. So there's one there. So yeah, this is starting to feel like the old game. Roger that. As in um, Starship Troopers Terran Ascendancy. I think that was a maybe 2000, 2001, 2002. Move closer to the hive to lure out bugs faster, yeah. This, this, this plays a little smoother than that, though. Sir. Hive population is not yet depleted. Okay, so we gotta deplete the hive population. <clears throat> okay, the bugs are down. Get a squad in that bug hole to seal it up. They're going to take some casualties, but that's what we're here for. So one squad goes in. Bug hive cleared. Orders are to expand your foothold in the sector. Capture the local radio stations to use them as staging points for operations to take out arachnid colonies. Okay, Sir, capture all right. radio stations. That's fine. Oh no, I told them all to go in there. Wait, no, come out, come out. There we go. Okay, you don't all have to be in there. <laughs> okay, there we go. Just send one in, that's enough. So we've got, I think, two more... Yeah, so the, the map's showing... Objectives, objectives, okay. Understood. So, we should head west from here, I'm thinking. Yeah, there's another... Bug hole. <laughs> Yeah, I, I wanted more explosion. Oh no, that's no, no, don't just, no, 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 no. That's my bad. This is a very narrow pass, so shooting angles are pretty bad. So if you just attack, move through it, then they just keep sort of... Um, stepping through each other, like... There's a unit in front, so the unit behind can't shoot, so they walk forward. And now this unit can't shoot, so they walk forward. Now this unit can't shoot, so they walk forward. Then this unit can't shoot, they walk forward. Right, so be careful about attack moving through narrow passages. That makes a lot of sense, so that's fine. Capturing objective points. Um, sir, additional supplies are now Sensors available. are picking up new bug hive activity. Command has allocated you additional resources to fortify the outpost against arachnid don't attacks. Have enough supply capacity, sir. Guess we're going to have a busy day at the office then. Delivery plan. All right, we're going to need combat engineers and MG turrets. Support center allows deployment of radio operators and combat engineers. Oh, so if I get that building, I could. Okay. Get combat Call engineers. Calling engineers ASAP. Uh. Standing by. I didn't follow the we don't tutorial. Have enough supply capacity, sir. <laughs> I didn't follow the tutorial. Um, supply depots can increase your supply cap by plus five. Okay, understood. Oh no, I broke the tutorial. That's sort of my bad. <laughs> I jumped the gun on calling in rifle troopers. 
So now I think... I don't know if we can... Oh, we can probably just move on anyway. It's fine. Let's just go clear out the bugs. Yeah, see see the icons where I'm telling the, the units to go? As they move, slight data points change. So the... <laughs> it shakes a lot. You know, that, that's, that's you know, another UI thing. Disband squad. Can you disband squad? Oh yes, you can disband units. Or... Sir, arachnids are disrupting one of our bases. <laughs> Disbanding is an option. Or... We've lost contact with a comms base. Okay, so that's how that works. <laughs> Lord Droll, thank you so much. It's very kind of you. There's multiple ways to disband. Some sound effects are actually reminding me of Dark Colony. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that as well. Like, there's some Dark Colony vibes to the sound design. With me. Sensors are picking up new bug hive activity. Sir, roger that. This way. Okay, so we closed that hole. Yeah, if you just attack move, it, things can go Sir, not so Intel good. Sir, Intel reports a new bug threat in our sector. New bug threat in sector. Okay, so Roger that. I can. Sir, additional supplies are now available. Oh, are they? Oh, from me capturing that. So, disband unit. M. Oh, I have to actually send them out, so I can do this to disband these units. I see, I see, okay. So things actually need to be sent out. And that should allow me to do combat engineers. Combat engineers. Our war support has increased, sir. Our war support? Get those engineers earning their pay. We need two MG turrets covering the outpost before Archie comes to crash this party. Uh, run away, run away. I misclicked, I misclicked. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. Machine gun turrets. We build it on the road? Sir. We cannot deploy to that location. That's fine. Okay. So we build machine gun turrets like that, I think. And then they become turrets. What do you need? Yes, sir. Sir. Okay. No, 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 turn around. I keep pressing the grenade button by accident. It's fine. Okay, so now those gunners will defend the base. Sure, okay, now we can move on. Roger that. Okay, bugs there. So I can actually do this. So they can't see up. So if I do this. Yes, sir. I can get some early shots Take off out like that. that. Bug nest. So that's a bug nest there. So I can grab you guys. Put some fire down there. So as they approach. They would walk into the fire. Tactics, yes. Yes, this this is what I go. This, this is what I like. A unit has been promoted, sir. What do you need? Move unit up. promotions, sure. Oh, right, they keep spawning until. Well, we got most of it down, so we can start moving over. 
those MGs aren't getting enough action back there. Get them disbanded, and then redeploy them up at the bridge. Ah, I see. So we demolish that. Demolish Sir, that. HQ on the net. Yes. They're asking why the area isn't cleared yet. Affirmative. But we have been a little busy here. Okay, people. We are pushing up this road. Like not paying attention. Uh oh. Uh oh. Run, run, run. Uh. What's the. You we can only deploy, deploy on the roads, right? Those things are so long range. Okay, okay. Things are actually getting a little tougher. A unit has been promoted, sir. Sir, arachnids are disrupting one of our bases. Can I kill this? Okay. See, I should have left those there. Why did they tell him to get rid of the machine guns? <laughs> We've lost Fine. contact with a comms base. Come on, we'll we'll come back to that. Should have left the machine guns up. Yeah, the difficulty did just step up. Put some fire down. Don't walk into your own fire. Be careful. Hive strength zero. Okay, so we can now just walk in. So you can actually walk into the hive at any point. <clears throat> but I think you would die. <laughs> based on... There we go. There's a radio tower ahead of your position. Get up that slope and bring that station online. I suppose that's closer. Roger that. Yeah, we'll take this radio station, then we might head back for the last one. Yeah, there's four radio stations. So what we can do is grab you. Uh, Turrets twin machine guns are effective against slightly armored targets. Okay. Comms base is operational, sir. Nice. Uh, I, I prefer a one-way shooting arrangement with Archie. And those spitter bugs complicate things. Get some snipers deployed and take them up before they get in range. Snipers. Okay. I like snipers. Okay. Video station requires command center. <laughs> Do we have to go back and grab... I think we have to go back and grab... Uh, First base. So yeah, it's odd that the instructions were like, the machine guns back there aren't getting much action. Redeploy them up the road. And like, so I destroyed them and then bugs immediately got there. <laughs> I suppose it's telling me to deploy them there. Which makes sense. But that wasn't super clear. Sir, arachnids are disrupting one of our bases. <sighs> okay, yeah, we, we got to sort this out first okay fine 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 we can do this uh so we've lost you contact with a comms base can set one there and you can set one there right Look sharp, troopers. Sir. so i can grab you guys yes, sir. send you guys back so those machine guns should Engineers, now hear this. Sir. Our war support has increased, sir. Okay. War support plus one, which I think means we can... Yeah, those spitter bugs are pretty bad, huh? <laughs> Alright. Let's retake this base. So you can disband units, or... <laughs> we can use them up. All right, let's grab this. Sir, additional supplies are now available. 
So these things cost this supplies total available. We don't have enough supply capacity, sir. Available total. Oh, I see. Okay. Awaiting orders. What else does this cost? So if I disband, I can request reinforcements. Yes, that's how we do it. It told us how to do this. So we can replenish our troops like this. This makes sense. Sir, People are loving it. They want to join the grinder. <laughs> yes. yes sir. Roger that. How are things? Yes, Pretty good. We're covering lots of games today. Right now, Starship Troopers, and no. it's... Sir, it's going okay. Yes, sir. It's going okay. The, the only issues I have is that the UI feels a little... Okay. Awkward to use. But the gameplay seems seems fine. Resupply engineers. Yeah, I'll maybe do that. See if I can do it at the next base. So we've cleared out three bug holes. We've got two. This is the third base we're getting here. So we need to deploy a command center there and then we can get snipers. Okay. I assume we can resupply here as well. Affirmative. Move out. And those machine gunners hold things off okay. Capturing points, good. Um, um, sir, additional supplies are now available. Right, so now we want to go here, build a command center. And that allows us to get... How many are we supposed to get? Two sniper teams. And we should also be able to... Replenish... Sir. Our Drop engineers. Dropships engaged elsewhere, sir. Dropships engaged elsewhere, sir. Okay, okay. So there's Drop a limit... Dropships engaged elsewhere, sir. On dropships, I see. So you can't just spam everything. Okay. So there are limits on things. Uh, action mode. Increases movement speed and rate of fire, but significantly decreases range. Oh, so that's the ability on snipers. I see. Right, tab cycles through units. Yes, sir. Burn. Oh, snipers do great against those things. You're getting a bit ahead of yourself, but you can lay down some fire. Yes, Kill the bug lair. Nope, not that. I keep I keep mixing up the attack move and the uh, the uh, what grenade button. Lay down some fire. Pull back. Snipers. Pick those off. Good. Bug tunnels are always connected to the hive. Clear hive to shut down bug tunnels. I see. So we can grab you. Uh, you. To go grab that. Let's see if they can make it through the bugs. Combat engineers, run towards that base! Took a lot of hits, but we're gonna capture the radio station. Standing by. Roger that. Engineers, the new arms war. base is operational, sir. Go in there. Snipers. Come over here. Comms base operational. Shutting down that. And then we need to destroy this bug... Uh, the bug tunnel, I see. So the bug tunnel should... 
shut down as well, I think. Yeah. Sir, satellite surveillance has picked up major bug movement approaching your position. You don't have long. Okay, you heard the news. Our only chance is to use this valley as a kill zone. Use everything you got. If we don't hold them here, we'll all be dead anyway. Fair enough. Listen up. Use Support elevations. It. Awaiting orders. Roger that. What do you need? Roger that. Uh construct HMG turrets. Engineers, now hear this. Snipers up here. What do you need? You construct turret. Engineers, now hear this. Construct turret. Use choke Roger points. That. Use elevations. Look sharp. Are oh, they coming from there as well? Okay. Yes, sir. Roger that. Now let's put you there, I think. Oh, you orders. over here. Okay. Can we fit any more turrets here? What do you need? No. That's maximum turrets. Okay. okay. So I'll put one sniper team on the low ground so they can shoot a little bit further. We'll keep this sniper team up here, which can shoot pretty far. Gonna put you on group two. The bugs are here. Look sharp, troopers. So that we can... Lay down some oh, okay. You didn't say we had air support. Okay, that's gonna be fine. <laughs> Just throw some fire down. That should stop them in their tracks. Yep, sniper is doing their jobs. A unit has been promoted, sir. That spitter is doing quite a lot of damage. Let's pull back. Pull back, pull back. Oh, okay. I see. There was there was a UI issue. <laughs> these these transparent things here, they're blocking my clicks. I can't click through this. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to move back, but they weren't moving back, and I wasn't sure why. Though those graphics are were blocking my clicks. The clicks were not going through the graphic. I see. Okay. So yeah. Mission I liked. Mission I liked. Still some UI issues. It's just it's sort of holding things back. It's holding things back a little bit. Let's go another mission. Federal Network. Colossians take great pride in their planet's mining industry. Through sweat of brow, valiant colonists dig up the precious minerals the Federation needs. It's an ore effort for the war effort, and they're not going to let a few bugs scare them off. The mobile infantry has begun escorting workers, many of them patriotic volunteers, back into the mines so they can keep excavating the future of humanity. All right, broadcast complete. To war! Okay, so that last mission stopped feeling like a tutorial, so that's good. Let's try another. So this should be like a proper full-on mission. Like, they've told us basically what we need to know. Sir, Welcome to Mineville, Lieutenant. Bugs made a mess of the Qual's attempts to defend this base. We're here to do a better job of it. That's a lot of damage. The Flyboys report some serious bug activity out to the east. Our mission is to get these miners back into their holes, not to go play in the dust with Archie. We'll ice them as soon as they come at the walls. Organize your defenses and call down some extra bodies. Keep those bugs outside the walls, Lieutenant. Yeah. His voice acting was a little... Standing by. Weird there. <laughs> like, he, it sounded like he didn't quite know what he was talking about. 
attack wave in 30 seconds. Okay, so I have like no resources, right? We don't okay. have enough supply capacity, sir. Call in one of those. So if I wanted to get a su support center, command center, okay. Sir. Do we know where the attacks are coming from? On the move. I assume the southeast. I smell trouble. Get this base ready for what's coming. Okay. Don't lose the central base. So they're coming at that angle. But we do have some machine guns. And I assume we can shoot the explosive barrels. Oh, the H the central base also has a gun. Okay, so we can move you up to the corner to cover both sides, yeah? Our war support has increased, sir. War support has increased. That area has been declared secure. Support center. Oh. Sending the first group of miners into Shaft 1. Secure my ass. This place <laughs> has more bugs than a Shreveport picnic in July. Command believes the risk is acceptable. Mining operations have been delayed long enough. We need more time. Damn it. Okay, so we can get... Support there's center. There's been an incident at the mine. <laughs> of course oh, there has. Was it bugs? The bugs I said that were definitely down there. We have reports of some casualties among the miners. Some casualties? It'll take hours to sort out which bits go in which coffin. We expected attacks. That's why you're there. <laughs> Clear the site of bugs. Try to minimize disruption to the mining operation. And protect the miners. We've got a unit under attack. Of course, that too. Well, the bugs can just climb up the walls, right? Sir. A grenade, please. Let's go. That helps. Set some fire down, please. Thank you. Okay, there we go. So gates can be closed and opened. So yeah, we do continually to get attacked from these angles. So I, I think I can pull these guys back since we do have machine gunners there. We'll want these guys up on the high ground. We're slowly clearing out. Oh, they're coming from that side as well. That's unfortunate. By. Yes, sir. Okay. So we can clear the mine now. Sir. So you guys are closest. Roger that. Yes, sir. I didn't try shift clicking. There's no, there's no waypoints. That's odd. That's odd. There's no waypoints. Can I set a turret? Uh, no, not quite yet. Because I don't have enough war support. Yes, sir. Our war support has increased, sir. Now I can. All right. That mining shaft is operational again. There's three others around here that command wants up and running. ASAP. We can set a machine gun there. Okay, reopen all the mining shafts. So this will just defend that mining shaft, because I assume it would be attacked. Uh, we got two more war support, so we don't have any more supply. I could unlock snipers. Oh no, that costs war support, that's fine. Okay, so that should defend there. Uh, we can place down another one. Which I guess we should place like here, because this seems to be where we're mostly attacked from. 
Yeah. Let's place one there. Okay, setting up some machine guns using the war Alert. support. Bug attack inbound. Roger that. Bug attack inbound. Be advised, another major bug attack is coming in from the east. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Delivery platform. So yeah, we have this. So the big um, thing that limits us in what we can do is... Okay, that turret's down. Good. That should definitely help. Yeah, the thing that limits us is supply. We can only have so many units. Okay, but machine guns should alleviate things, allowing us to go out and do things. Reopen all mining shafts. How do I... There's four of them. It's like there's this whole base here. Clear the mine. Uh, there's that there. So I think we can expand out. I never close this gate. <laughs> close that gate. Open this gate. I'm assuming our machine guns... I should leave Away one person orders. behind. Standing by. Close the Standing gate. By. I should leave one Good. unit behind because we might be attacked. No, no. Sir. You are group two. Do that. Roger that. You are group one. Okay. Yes, okay. Move out. Let's go capture this next Standing base by. over here. It's not possible to repair the gate. Intelligence reports that there are Qualcomm bases nearby used to provide logistical support to the mines. It's probably a way to do it. Is collecting eager volunteers to operate those mines. But those bases are needed for dropship insertion. Oh, I see. There's a little bit of officer. high ground right here. Get a scouting party that. together and start getting those bases back online. Run, 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 run. Attack. So this high ground allows us to shoot this a little bit better. Right. Is there something up there? Blind throw a grenade up there! Who knows what's there? Kablam. Okay, it's clear. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We'll capture this. Hopefully we get more supply from this. Sir, additional supplies are now available. Okay, additional supplies. So we can get... Sensors are picking up new bug hive activity. So we don't have war support, so we can't build things. But capturing this gives us that, so it allows us to get more units. What's down here? Bug activity. Okay, so we probably want to close this... Oh, we're under attack. Clear that mine. Okay, so we're just sort of under attack from everywhere here. I want to clear this first so the western side is clear supplies cache that could be handy okay we're not positioned properly here okay yeah once the the units like clump up it becomes a bit of a problem so you have to make sure your units don't clump up it's quite dangerous bug attack inbound Bug attack inbound. Yes, sir. That's not good. Let's try send Waiting this in. back. Let's open that. Awaiting orders. Let's yes, put sir. you there. Sir. I'm assuming you guys will be okay. <laughs> there let's get you there you guys are group three i guess let's clear the bug hive a unit has been promoted sir 
This looks a little bad. Roger that. Roger that. Let's go. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Sir, arachnids are disrupting one of our bases. Okay. So I close that. We can now move up here, which is under attack. We can now send these units up to reinforce there. You. We've lost contact with the comms base. They captured it fast, or rather, they overran it fast. We've got to do this. I need some combat engineers back Sir, at home. Additional supplies are now available. Because we lost a, we lost the turret back there. But I think while we're here, we can just go ahead and do this. Sir, Intel reports a new bug threat in our sector. Okay, clear this mine. Sir, additional supplies are now available. The spitter bugs. Well, additional supplies are now We've available. We've got a okay. unit under attack. Let's get combat engineers. I'm sure you guys will be fine. <laughs> yeah, I can reset the We've turret, but I needed engineers. Attack. Uh, let's reset that there. By. Yeah, you guys are fine. Roger that. Bit of a graphical glitch there, I think. Isn't that one of the flamethrowers? A unit has Maybe been promoted, sir. Know. What's this? Oh, the mines. I see. Okay, so we don't have enough Our war support. Okay. This mine shaft's clear. Oh, I do have more war support. Um, what's a good way to defend this place? We could put like two turrets, just sort of up here on the high ground. No, no, no. You were setting up a turret here. So we just have like two turrets up on this high ground and it should defend this mine and stop any bugs attacking that radio post. And we can continue moving on. Great. There's a bug layer right there. Which we will Alert. move towards. Bug attack inbound. Bug attack inbound. Uh, that's not so good. Is there a short way back? No. <laughs> we have to go this way. Let's run, 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 run. With me. I think I can demolish that turret to make room for... Oh, spitters. Damn, I forgot about the spitters. Let's try to set up another one. I didn't get any snipers. We've got a unit under attack. Some of you may die, but it is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Supply cache? We've got a unit under attack. Oh, there is a supplies cache. Oh, you guys actually did okay. Okay, let's grab that supplies cache. Good eyes. I, I miss that. More supplies will be handy. Some of these bugs seem a little stuck. Oh, they did die. <laughs> They're just in the climbing animation. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, so I'm I'm still getting used to the the icons on the map. 
turrets. Let's grab this. So these two turrets I set up here should fully defend this mine. Sir, Intel reports a new bug threat in our sector. Sir, additional supplies are now available. Popper bugs. Um, so if I get the... I need two war support to get that. Well, get more engineers, I guess. I think the more of something you have, the more expensive it becomes. Wait, no, no. It's, it's just showing how many we have. Okay. So we have two machine gunners there. These guys can reinforce. So we can just reinforce. No problem. Okay, let's keep moving. Yeah, building turrets is kind of expensive because they take this war support and that's... It gets pretty costly after a bit. Just We're mash going to need into to there. reinforce those units in the mountains. <laughs> Call in some radio operators to help out. Okay. Call in some radio operators. Deploy a radio operator. What is that? It's a unit, right? Uh, transports units between two drop sites. Useful for rapid redeployment over long distances. Oh. We can actually transport units. Radio operator. Well, I don't have the supply. If we go through this, there's actually another base we, we can capture over here. Or I could clear out this bug, this bug hole here. With me. Let's try and get up onto this high ground. Alert, a unit has been promoted, sir. Alert, a unit has been promoted. <laughs> Okay, so there we're under attack. I think we should be okay? Question mark. Hoppers overhead. Rifle squads. Bring them down. So hoppers are just Oh, the hoppers are the flying ones. Uh that's not good. Okay. I think we can march into this we've got a unit under attack kill everything there's a supplies cache there combat engineers go grab that can we survive this maybe yes maybe no can we re request reinforcements right now <laughs> yes we can <laughs> reinforce we've got a unit under attack Sir, additional supplies are now available. Additional supplies. Yes. Good. So now we can get Our a radio war operator. Has increased, sir. War support increased. Nice. Is this? That's now dead. Close that. Good. Okay. Yeah, it's getting to this like heavy level of micromanagement and stuff. We can get the command center there. So that we can now get snipers. We've got Sir, these guys. Assign drop zones. Place a drop zone that can set reinforcements. Oh, I see how that works. Okay, so there's a base over here. So I can go up to this base and use that radio dude to assign a drop zone over here so I can set up reinforcements. Okay. You Comms base, sir. Additional supplies are now available. Additional supplies. Can we get snipers? Yes. Let's get two snipers. We're Sensors are picking up new bug hive activity. So I can assign a drop zone like here, I guess. 
How does this work? Dropships engaged elsewhere, sir. Oh, okay, I see. Drops ships engaged. We got three, so for example, I can do this. I have HQ, sir. Assign drop zone. So if I were to, for example, assign a drop zone there. Right. We don't need to do that, but we can do that. Can the radio operators shoot? Do they have guns? Yeah, that, that scream right there. I'm pretty sure that's from Dark Colony. Okay. So we've got snipers. Let's go ahead and... Pop a sniper there. Pop a sniper there. You guys can help defend there. Okay. We can't afford anything else. So you... What's the hotkey for this? I set it to V. Okay. Oh, and we don't actually have to define Alert. a spot. It Bottom can just be at the radio operator like that. Oh, I see. Okay, that's kind of convenient. Yes. There we go. Okay, so th the way that works is actually pretty smooth. So, okay. Okay. So... The gameplay, the way the gameplay is actually designed, is pretty smooth. Right? The way everything sort of works. Let's set some fire down. Like, mechanically, it works pretty nicely. So you actually want to, like, if possible, set the snipers to manually snipe the spitters. Right, if you can micro that. So there's a lot of tactics that you can use. The high grounds, the snipers, the unit types, the reinforcements and all of that. It, it all works really nicely. Can the can the radio guy reinforce himself? He can. We've got <laughs> okay. a unit under attack. Yeah, there's high level of micro in terms of management. Not so much like... Um, Not so much like um, kiting and stuff, but there's a lot of things that I have HQ, sir. need to be managed. No, this. Okay, let's move. There's more supply there, and then we gotta clear those mines. There's explosive barrels right there, which I haven't used any of. By the way, I'm playing on medium difficulty. Out of five stars, we're playing at uh, three. A unit has been promoted, sir. Yeah, I think we can take this. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, don't just ignore the screams. It's it's fine. Just ignore the screams. It's okay. Stand right there. So you guys to grab that supplies cache. Sir, additional supplies are now available. Drop some fire right there. Additional supplies available, which means we can get... Get some rifle troopers for the left side, because we don't have any there. Okay. Clear the mine. Okay, now that I'm starting to get the hang of the gameplay, it's becoming more enjoyable. The only thing really holding this game back is the UI. Some of the voice acting could be better, yes. What's this? Oh, the miners, right. Okay. So we can just now resupply Our units this mine's safe now. here. Like that, we can just do that. Look at that, we can just resupply right here. These radio guys are super powerful. 
Look at that. We've, we've now resupplied. Great. Yeah, it's definitely more interesting now. The first mission... The first mission... Like, the first mission and the first half of the second mission... I think need... Improvement. This mission is feeling proper and good. Right? Like, I go up the hill. I'm gonna throw a grenade. Do some attacks. Do some proper positioning. Alert. Bug attack inbound. See, all those units clumped up, which means our things aren't going so great. We can destroy this bug lair. Bug attack inbound. Oh. So we're now under attack here, but I think we'll be okay. We have... We can build another turret. We're going up here. And throw a grenade right there. Okay, that sniper's helping out. Okay, we're moving up here. We've got yeah, a unit under attack. Lots of management. Lots of management. Good. This looks pretty hefty. We've got a unit under attack. You know, bringing snipers with us might have been a good idea, but let's mash into there. <laughs> We've got a unit Just under attack. Just move forward and shoot. <laughs> You'll be fine. Go for it. A no, unit you. has been promoted, sir. Set some fire down. You set some fire down. You'll all be okay. <laughs> These rifle troopers need reinforcements. Snipers need reinforcements. Tell us what to do. Someone standing by. Standing by. Okay. Cleared. Engineers here. Roger that. Oh, that that bug tunnel will keep coming. Okay, something pops up. A unit has been promoted, sir. Clearing the mine. So you can now just our war the mine is operational. Sir. Command appreciates your efforts. Is that all of them? That is all of them. Victory. Remember your training. Instantly dies horribly. <laughs> Yeah, this, this should be out on the 16th. The game seems fun, but the low FPS is a bit of a turnoff. Yeah, it's not... Okay. Okay. Let's... Let's, let's go through... Let's just have a quick look at the next mission. There's danger afoot, underfoot. The bugs lurk in subterranean tunnels. Preparing for their next vicious attack. Wiping out these nests is dangerous work, but nothing the mobile infantry can't handle. Our brave troopers will uncover and eradicate the enemy wherever they hide. Okay, so we've, we've been playing at three-star difficulty, weapon damage modifier X1. Um, going up difficulty, basically max difficulty is everything does half damage, which... That, that's quite a hefty increase, yeah. But okay, this game, this game, it is actually pretty solid gameplay-wise. The first mission and the first half of the second mission was a bit... Uh, but the third mission is where the game gets good. That actually felt pretty satisfying to do, right? Negatives. The voice acting, I wouldn't say... Yeah, I wouldn't say it's terrible. I've heard much worse. Um, thinking active aggression. <laughs> you want some really subpar voice acting, active aggression did a pretty terrible job. Even mispronouncing words and stuff like that, it was pretty bad. Mispronouncing names. <laughs> they read the name of the characters wrong, right? It was pretty bad in Active Aggression. Don't know if they ever fixed that, but 
Um, the voice acting here is a bit hesitant at times, a bit unsure. The the radio news guy voice, that's sort of fine. But the the general dude or commander, whoever's giving you orders, feels a bit unsure at times. It's like, it feels a bit... Mm. Um, but voice acting is not really the main point of the game. So, sure. I think the biggest thing holding it back is the UI. Because the game is better than this UI. <laughs> um, like, the, the UI feels very chunky. Very blocky, right? Like, have a look at the options menu. Like, it's very... Bum, 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 bum. But that, it's just, it's just for, like, four giant rectangles for volume settings. Like, this this is, like, weirdly blocky and chunky. The preferences, it's, like, it, blocky and chunky. And in-game, like, even, like, the buttons here, it's blocky and chunky, right? And in-game, it sort of feels like that as well. And the main issues I was having was with the UI, where I can't, like, the tips come up on this side, and I can't click through the tips. <laughs> even, like, the faded gray part, the, just the dark and fade sort of thing. I can't click through it, so that was, like, a UI issue. Um, the chunky style is deliberate choice, though. It kind of fits the theme. Chunky style is fine. This feels a little... underdeveloped. Right? It's not, it's not so much the style that is not refined. It's... it's the style is fine. But it, it feels unrefined. And also, um, you know, UI elements should not be blocking your commands, right? Old school military sci-fi thing. There are ways to do old school that feels nice. So, for example, right, like, like looking at like this sort of feels okay, but then it's like, like look, this is up left do rig, right? It's like that's that's not. That feels like they, they just didn't have time to properly design. <laughs> like, huh? <laughs> Left dough rig, right? So so that's what I mean by chunky, but it's like an unrefined chunky, right? And like, there's no reason why the audio slider should be like this. Um, so the neg the con so far is the voice acting is a little bit rough. Yeah, what about arrows, right? They, they sh it should just be arrows, right? <laughs> Um, the voice acting's a little bit rough. Not the worst. I've heard worse, but it's a little bit rough. UI issues. Um, and performance issues. So, I have... I have a pretty beefy setup. I have an RTX 3080 16 gigabytes of VRAM. There's not that many systems which are more powerful than mine, right? I'm not top of the line. But I have a pretty hefty setup. And I'm running currently basically on medium graphics. And it's not getting me 60 frames a second. Or, well, rather, the refresh rate should be 165. But it's not getting me 60 FPS, right? I set it up to maximum and just scrolling around was giving me a headache because of the choppiness. So... Those three things are holding this game back right now. Um, is there an equipment link? Uh, no, but I basically have a custom laptop built. Um, very expensive, <laughs> but it, it saved money in the long run. Um, so a lot of creators might be checking out this game and not having performance issues because they have the best possible liquid cooled multi GPU whatever system. Well, bleh. Um, but I'm just letting you know that on my setup, it's lagging a little bit. And that's on medium graphics. So there's optimization issues. So those are the three things sort of holding this back. Little rough voice acting, UI issues, performance issues. But once we got into the game, the gameplay was pretty solid. Um, there's a lot of like tactics to do um so it's not really a base building game you sort of place buildings a bit here and there you know company of heroes um iron, iron harvest you know that sort of approach so it's not really base building or base management so much it is more unit squad management 
And there's a lot of tactics you can use. The abilities, although so far relatively simple, have a lot of utility. You know, where you place turrets, where you throw grenades, the fact that there's explosive grenades and then fire grenades, which do, which act sort of similarly, but actually have pretty significant differences. And then the overall management of, you know, defending your base while going out and attacking and you have all these units and as you go along, you get more and more units to manage and the enemy gets bigger and bigger. And it has that swarm effect on both sides. The bugs are swarming, but also you as the humans are swarming. Um, and there's a high ground, low ground. You can't shoot through friendly units. So if you just bunch everyone up and tell them to attack move, it actually does terribly, right? which gives a lot of room for strategy and tactics. So that's really nice. Um, so it's a little bit, it's like, it's a good game, but what's holding it back is sort of what's not gameplay, <laughs> right? The UI issues aren't really part of the gameplay, but they sort of get in the way of gameplay, you know? Uh, the voice acting is not is more of a aesthetic, superficial thing, um, and it doesn't really get in the way of the gameplay. You know, performance issues again. It's not really part of the gameplay, but it's getting in the way of the gameplay. So it's like the gameplay is like up here, and like there's these things that are sort of like holding it back, right? Whereas if you just if you like fix these issues, then the gameplay can run, right? It's just sort of a bit of a weight on this gameplay that's actually a lot better than it feels, right? Because the first mission and the first half of the second mission sort of felt bogged down. Not so much because the gameplay, but it's because the gameplay was so light because it's a tutorial and they're just sort of introducing the basics, right? So there's not a lot of gameplay going on at the start of the game. So you're mostly experiencing these things that are holding it back, right? Whereas once the gameplay started becoming the main focus, these things just sort of felt like a bit of a weight on this thing that was actually really good, right? So, so that makes it basically a good game, but it needs to fix these things. And that's actually, fixing UI is easier than fixing fundamental game <laughs> play stuff. So um, I hope they can fix it. I mean, there, there's a few things that are, should be. I don't know what engine this is running on or anything, but it should be easy fixes. Allowing you to click through the tips <laughs> would be hopefully an easy fix. You know, optimization. I don't uh, I don't know the background of how all of this is, but it should be possible to optimize this. Right? So it should be fixable, and I hope they do. I hope they do. I, I don't think they need to redesign the UI. I mean, it'd be nice if they refined it up a bit. Um, it's just a lot of the UI feels big, and yet somehow things still don't fit. So, for example, just... Let me show this button. I've actually been blocking it. I just noticed it myself. The buttons are so huge and chunky, and yet there's still text that runs over. Right? And that, that feels like such a minor gripe, <laughs> but it's like, it's just those little bits of refinement that when you first load up the game and you first jump into the game, it just doesn't feel nice. And a huge number of people will stop playing during the first tutorial mission because it doesn't feel nice. And they don't actually get to the part where the gameplay is actually much, much better, right? So these little refinements need to be cleaned up so that people stick with the game until the gameplay fully takes off, right? Because a lot of people, like you, you've seen like Steam achievements, sometimes there's like achievements like just five minutes into the game and it's only achieved by like 50% of people, right? The drop off of people playing a game is quick, <laughs> right? It's so fast, right? So you have to be careful about that sort of thing. But yeah, generally, Starship Troopers, Terran Command, good game, with three things that hold the good game back, but fixable.
So I'd keep an eye on it. But if you think you're fine with those issues, then the gameplay side is actually pretty solid. I like it. It's nice. Anyway, that's going to be it for Starship Troopers. Terran Command, if you're watching on YouTube, there'll be buttons on the screen right now for you to check out so much more content on this channel. I have almost 2,000 videos at this point, so there's something that you will enjoy. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.